When you look in a mirror and see yourself and you see like one person looking back, it's, that is not true. You are made out of 50 trillion cells. So you are a community, not a single person. I will show you the science of actually how the cells work and you will have more knowledge than most doctors in the world today because they still believe in the genes. Here is the simple truth. A gene is a blueprint. Are you reading the blueprint or are you not reading the blueprint? And the gene does not make that decision. The gene is read or not read. And what do you think controls the signal? Perception. Every cell has about 1.4 volts, not too much. 50 trillion cells in the body times 1.4 volts is 700 trillion volts of electricity in your body right now. But your mind is the government for the 50 trillion cells. So if you change your thought and your mind, you can change the biology. And the mind is the primary cause of illness on our planet today. So you are not the victims of your genes because you can change any of your genes anytime. If you change your perception, you change the reading of your genes. If someone tells you you're going to have a disease and you believe that, then you can create the disease. Perception can rewrite the genetic code. So perception controls life. No two people see the world in the same way. They have different perceptions. And sometimes your perceptions can be right and sometimes your perceptions can be wrong. Since perception controls biology, and since they can be right or wrong, then it's more accurate to say that belief controls biology. What you believe creates your life. On the inside and on the outside. You're not a victim of your genetics. You are responsible for what unfolds in your life. The placebo effect is when you have a very positive thought that something can heal you, even if it's a sugar pill, but you believe it's the real medicine, then you can heal yourself with that. So the pill didn't heal you, it was the thought that healed you. There is negative thinking and it's called the nocebo effect. And in the same power that positive thinking can heal you, negative thinking can kill you. So if we were growing up and programmed with stronger beliefs, we would be more powerful than we are now. When you are conscious, you can rewrite the instincts, and when you become conscious, you can rewrite the experiences of your life. So that it is important to recognize that what we are not using enough of in our world today is consciousness.